Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how you can use the SIP Connect with the Velocity 1 joystick. And that works, I would say, only on the uh, Windows version, right? It doesn't work on the Xbox because there you can't install the Velocity 1 uh, SIP Connect so software. And the way to get the software is simply go to turtlebeach.com and then go to the uh, products page of the Velocity 1 flight and then you will find the download link here, right? So once downloaded, uh, and that's all what I've already done, uh, you will find, I would say, the zip here, and you can extract the zip in the location wherever you want, right? So in my case, I extracted it simply in the, uh, let's say, downloads folder. And when you go to the downloads folder, you will see a lot of things, right? You can see, say, a lot of information here. You can see uh, a PDF, which describes what to do. There are several uh, DLLs, and there's the zip connect software itself. So to make use of these uh, zip connect software, you simply need to double click it, which will start the software. So we'll see the Turtle Beach software logo or the Turtle Beach logo, and then it will be started. And the reason why you need to enable the SIP Connect software is to, let's say, use the nice, I would say, LEDs on the front of the, uh, let's say, base station so that they can light up, right? For example, if you didn't uh, raise your gear or if the flaps are in a position or if you don't have, let's say, enough fuel or if you've got energy issues, then you will be able to see that on the display of the base station. So once you've done that, you need to do a special trick. And that special trick is you need to go to the uh, bottom. Oh, it doesn't work for me. So you need to go to the bottom uh, and then you will find information here, right? So you can right click on it and then you can say, okay, hey, I'm using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. That's the first thing you need to do. Uh, let me stay in this view. The next thing you need to do is make sure that it's connected. And the third thing is that you need to make sure it's started. So once you've done everything and once Flight Simulator has started, you will see that the lights are, I would say, starting to burn. Keep in mind that it mainly works with the, I would say, out of the box airplanes, uh, which are, I would say, delivered by Asobo. If you, for example, want to use it with third party software or third party air aircraft, sorry, it might not work as expected. So I hope that they will work together with those third party, uh, let's say, vendors to also fix the joystick for those aircrafts because then it will be even more greater. Right, so really simple. Uh, you need to start it, then select the three options, and then you're done. So once you're finished, or what, if you want to reconnect, uh, you can do the same steps, right? You can simply uh, stop it, disconnect it, and then exit the application. One thing which you need to keep in mind is if you don't start automatically, for example, when running Windows, you need to, I would say, manually start it and then perform these three steps. If you automatically start it, you still need to perform these three steps. Unfortunately, it would have been great if there was an option where you could say, hey, remember these settings and simply make sure that it works. But for some reason, that isn't always the case. I do think that's because of the, I would say, dependency that it needs to be able to connect to Flight Simulator, but that's just a guess. So here ends this video. In this video, we looked at how to use the SIP Connect software in combination with the Velocity 1 flight stick, which I would say allows you to use the lights on the front of the base station to keep an eye on the states of your aircraft. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.